If you have even the slightest knowledge of how music works, or if you just listen to it at all, you've probably heard of autotune, and for the most part, you probably know what it does. It makes you sound better. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to use autotune, what autotune does, and the reason why almost every artist in the industry uses autotune at some point on their music. We're talking about almost every rapper you hear from Polo G to Juice World, and even pop artists like Justin Bieber and Billie Eilish. So let's actually jump into this video and see exactly how autotune works and how it sounds like live. All right, so let's learn about autotune. So obviously the best way to show you guys is just give you like a live example. So I'm gonna pull up FL Studio. I found like this Juice World type beat on YouTube. So we're gonna pull that up and I'm just gonna basically show you guys how autotune works live. Now there's gonna be a few ways to explain exactly how autotune works, but I always feel like the best and easiest way to understand exactly what autotune does. If you double click an audio file and then right click on the actual audio right here, there's this thing where you could go edit and pitch corrector. And basically what this does is it, it takes the pitch of your voice or whatever the audio file is and shows you it on a piano roll. And basically what autotune is doing. So let me just record a little example of me singing. So I'm just going to turn the preset, preset on. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll turn this off, double click, right click, bin edit and pitch corrector. And as you can see, it shows you exactly where you're singing, like what the pitch is and everything like that. And basically the easiest way to understand autotune is you can see this line right here. And that is your voice changing in pitch and just moving around. And what autotune does is basically takes wherever your vocal is sets it to a scale for example if you set it to c minor it would try and take this vocal and move it to c minor as accurately as it can and the one thing that it does it makes you sound robotic so the retune speed is basically this variation knob right here so if you have your retune speed all the way up it's going to look like this it's going to look like a straight vocal and let's see how this sounds yeah 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 like i haven't even set the vocal to a scale yet but it already sounds pretty robotic and then the other thing that autotune does is the best way to see how it works is say for example your scale is c minor if you select all of your vocals in here click this button right here and then go to snap to grid and then you go to scale we'll go to c minor and then click snap to scale so it's going to set your vocal to a c minor scale so now it's going to sound like this yeah 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 and then another knob in autotune that you have is the humanized knob and i think this is a variation of a few different things that it's doing here basically it's trying to make you sound more human so you're not super robotic. So I'm pretty sure what it's doing is it's probably a variation of the center knob right here. So the center knob is basically going to take your vocal. As you can see, if you zoom in, it's not exactly on the scale of the song. And if you bring the center all the way up, it makes it so your vocal is literally like this is a perfect vocal now. It's perfectly in C minor. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you want to sound a little less robotic, obviously you're going to bring that humanized down and maybe a retune speed as well. So you can bring the center down and just add some variation in there. This will make it sound a little bit more natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what autotune does, very basically. Now, if you look at most industry mixes, maybe not rappers, for example, but people that are actually singing, for example, like Billie Eilish, she uses autotune. She might not use autotune, like the exact plugin, but people are gonna use, I can't think of the name of the plugin right now. Oh, Melodyne. They'll probably use Melodyne on their voice and just do exactly what this is doing right here. They're just going to make the voice sound a little bit better, but they're not going to apply too much of the effect so it sounds robotic. So that's how autotune works. So let me show you how it actually works live and basically how you're actually supposed to use autotune. So the way I like to record is in FL Studio, if you have your mixer track set to a playlist channel like this, obviously my hook is set right here, but there's this button right here and you always want it on external input. This will make it so when you record into FL Studio, none of the effects are going to be applied to what you're recording. And you could also do it in here. Just click this button and set to external input only. So what we're going to do is just click this button so I could actually hear how my vocal sounds. I have my Juice World preset pulled up. So if you want that, I'll have it linked down in the description. It looks like this, but that's what we're using for this. I'm also going to bring that Juice World beat in here. It's right here. Uh, I don't even know the BPM yet. Let's see. See, it looks like it is 158 maybe. Yep, so 158 and the scale I believe is G minor. At least that's what's been working for me. What we're gonna do now is just enable the actual preset so I can hear myself. So I'm gonna turn my gain down a little bit. And now we can hear ourselves through the preset. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention is the way I like to record is usually I'll put the autotune all the way up at first and I'll bring the humanize up a little bit as well. But I just want it like really easy for me to understand how to like bounce off autotune and use it correctly. Because if it's really not there, I might be singing a little bit out of key and not notice it where the autotune will kind of show me where my vocal needs to go. And then after that, once I'm all done recording and everything, I'll kind of go in and just make sure the autotune sounds a little more realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Living inside of my head is real You, you took my heart and left it in a field Now I'm lonelier than anything I feel I could take some drugs and fix the pain but it won't help okay. Nah, none of this shit ever got me well Yeah, we'll make it out of here cause I'm in hell Yeah, you can see what I did when I'm done Yeah, you can see what I did when I'm done Yeah, you can see what I did but I'm not done
All right, that works for now. Works for uh, now. Let me turn this so, off turn again. This. All right, so now what we're going to do is duplicate this over. So I'm going to file, save, mix, track, as. Boom, duplicate that like that. F2, and we're going to name this ad libs and then recolor it to like green or something. And then the ad lib track, what we're going to do is just bring the chorus up a bit, make it quieter. We're going to delete this last uh, EQ at the end because we don't need it too much. We're going to get the stereo shaper and just make it pretty wide. And then for the reverb, we're going to put a lot of reverb, a lot of delay. And a little bit of the short reverb. And then we're just going to switch over to the ad-libs and do like some doubles. Yep, 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 yeah. 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 But I can feel you living inside of my head is real. Yeah. yeah. Took my heart and left it in a field. All right, so there is like a little chorus right there. And the biggest thing with messing with autotune, like the most important thing you guys got to pay attention to is like depending on what you're going for. Something like Yeet, I usually have the retune speed literally all the way up and the Humanize probably all the way down because we want that like robotic sound and we kind of bounce off the autotune. But something with Juice, you want it to sound a little more natural. So like the main vocal, I might even turn it down a bit more. But the ad-libs, obviously, it doesn't matter too much because you're not going to notice them as much as the main vocal. And I want them to sound like perfect in the background. So we have the retune speed all the way up, but we'll have the humanize up a little bit. That's the thing with autotune. I mean, even with this, like, like for example, if you don't have autotune, this is a free version, just hitch corrector. And then we'll just hit control all. And the key of our song is, what was it? F sharp major. Let's check autotune. I forgot what it was. F major. So we'd go into the audio editor, control all. And then hit, uh, which button is it? This right here. Scale. And we're doing F major. Snap to scale. Boom. Now we have auto-tune. And then you just mess with the variation. Probably something like this, maybe. But I could feel you living inside of my head is real. You. Yeah, there's your free auto-tune. If you want it even better, you can bring the center all the way up. But I could feel you living inside of my head is real. You. And the cool part about using new tone, new t however you say it, new tone is your audio editor, is for example, say like what autotune oh, can't fix is stuff like this. Side so, of my head is real. So like there's that real, I mean like you might want that to stay, but if you want to maybe do something like this. My head is real. Or have it even lower. My head is real. Or do something like this. You could edit like the pitch of it like exactly how you want it. Side of my head is real. And that's how, I don't know if you've ever seen those TikTok versions where like they'll take a song and just make the vocal sound crazy. That's how you do like stuff like this. Living inside of my head is real. You side of my head is real. You you just you can do a lot of funny stuff. But yeah, that's basically it with autotune. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is the uh, the free version, just so this isn't you know a completely clickbait video. So we're just gonna completely take autotune off, and you just go to the pitcher in FL Studio. As long as you have FL Studio, this is free in there. We'll just set it to uh, what was our scale major, and then F major. Put that speed all the way up. This works pretty much the same. So let's see how the main vocal sounds. But I could feel, feel you living inside of my head is real. Yeah, to yeah. my heart and left it in a field. Now I'm lonely and as you can tell, there's you can hardly notice a difference. So you don't have to pay for auto-tune. I mean, auto-tune is obviously a little better, but you don't always have to use it. But yeah, last thing I'm going to do is just throw the final step master on this so we can hear how it sounds. And I'm going to let it play for you guys, but that's it for the video. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know what you guys think of this style of editing. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, but I will see you guys in the next one. So deuces. Studio Rack. Load a pre-file set. Dust on the Leon. Inside of my head is real. Yeah, you took my heart and left it in a field. Now I'm lonelier than anything I felt. I could take some drugs and feel some pain, but it won't help. Nah, none of this shit ever got me.